I made issue out of some of the foramen in the skull. The vision, hearing, and the smell. Just point these things out as we're going. So there are also places in the skull where they're not really holes that go all the way through, they're actually cavities in the bones. And so we call these sinuses. Everybody's uh, familiar with people who have sinus problems, right? Well, this is what you mean by that. There are four named bones in the skull with these sinus pockets in them, and they're all interconnected. Those bones are the frontal, the ethmoid, the sphenoid, and the maxillary. These are the four bones within the skull that have sinuses in them. They're all interconnected, and they're also connected into the nasal cavity. So um, when you get an infection in the epithelium of your nasal cavity, this infection will make its way into these sinuses. And so um, you can, if you have a severe sinus infection, you can tap on your frontal bone and it's tender. Or you can tap on your upper jaw bone and it's tender. There are sinuses and they get filled with mucus and infectious materials. Um, there are all kinds of ways to deal with this today. Um, in our modern world, there are things that cause uh, shrinkage of the va vasculature and the epithelium that helps us breathe. There are um, saline washes, there are medical washes, there are allergy washes, there are surgical procedures all dealing with this. And um, as, before I leave it, a person can actually go in, we'll do a little bit more of this in the spring. You can actually go into the nasal cavity, if you have a light in the camera, you can find the holes that go into these sinuses. So they're openings through your nose from which you can get into these. So any good ear, nose, and throat guy or, or gal who's doing these procedures can attach a little light and impress their patients. You turn the lights off in the room, take your little uh, light and snake it through one of these sinuses and you can light up the cheeks or you can light up the frontal bone. Now it's a lot more pleasant if you had a little anesthesia at that point um, to do that. but. It's certainly possible and it makes the point for you guys that these are all interconnected. These are the four bones that have sinuses in them. Now this shows you a sagittal view where you can see some of them. Uh, you can actually see the sphenoid sinus right here. So um, this sphenoid bone of the skull that uh, we saw before in the posterior portion of the orbit of the eye, we saw a hole in it that allowed the optic nerve, yes, to go through to the skull. We saw a hole in it that allowed the nerves to get to the muscles of the eye, the superior fissure, right? And um, if you look inside the skull, you can see there's a little um, indented 